Remember that flip project we were talking about? This place looks all right. Now to kick this episode off, I think we need to give you more background on how we actually bought this flip project. We sourced the project through our funnel here at Purpose Property and it was an opportunity that we couldn't pass up. We purchased the house off an elderly lady, Jenny, who was looking to move into a retirement phase. And the house needs a lot of work, so we were able to buy well below the median value in the suburb. We ended up purchasing the property for $690,000, and we got a $3,000 discount on the building and pest inspection after we found a few minor issues. Now to reveal to you the suburb, we actually bought on the north side of Brisbane in a suburb called Aspley. And we've been very bullish on this suburb as a blue chip location, not necessarily for cash flow, but for the growth potential. And so the median price point of a three bedroom house in this suburb at the time of purchasing the property was around the $900,000 mark. So we're looking to add value up towards the 900K mark to create equity and create value and eventually sell for a profit. So based on these figures, we're going to be targeting a 50K profit. That means every dollar counts. So we need to be watching both the funding costs and the renovation costs throughout this entire project. And time really is money here. So the faster we can get it done, the faster we can turn a profit. Now out on site today, we have five tree services and these guys are helping us get the property cleaned up. They're gonna be removing some larger trees and cutting back some of the bushes around the property. Joel and his team are great at what they do. What would have taken us weeks only took these guys hours and it would have taken us so much more time with tip runs if we'd done this ourselves. So I highly recommend Joel and his team if you're looking for an arborist here in Southeast Queensland. Now we also have some very talented laborers with us in Sophie and Elliot giving us a hand on this project. So we're paying them an hourly fee to come and give us a hand when they can. Because this is about our fifth cosmetic renovation, we know the order of trades that we want and when things should be done. So we're working on the roof, then the exterior, then moving our way inside to plastering, painting, flooring, and finishing off with kitchens and bathrooms. So it's important to map out the entire process end to end so you can line up your trades and make sure the process is fairly quick. So far this morning, they've cleared all of the shrubs at the front of the property and they're just making their way around the back. So I'm just gonna go to the bathroom, grab some snacks and then head back and get stuck into some painting. So that's the loo break over. It's time to get stuck back into it. Can't wait to see the exterior of the home transform today. Let's go. I think the key takeaway here is that many hands make light work. So paying for these guys to come and help us take down all of these trees and shrubs has been totally worth it. Em's just touching up the old hills hoist with some zinc paint which should give it a new lease on life. We try not to tear old things down. We try and bring them back to life. It's better for the environment and it saves us costs in the renovations. So rather than tearing down the old hills hoist and getting a new one, we thought we'd just give it a lick of paint and it will last another five to 10 years. It's been a ripper start to the day. The guys have done so much work. Uh, Joel and his team from Five Tree Services have gotten stuck in today. They've torn down a whole bunch of trees out the front, have removed a whole bunch of debris out the back and revealed a bunch of garden beds, concrete that we didn't know was here. And we've also got these cinder blocks or these breeze blocks behind us, which we really love the look of. So one of the first things Dad and Em did this morning was paint the washing line, which was pretty rusted. They got a 99% zinc paint. I didn't even know you could get 99% zinc but it was all rusted and it's come back to life a little bit. So it's kind of a light gray. Um, the washing line was probably put here in the 60s and it looks pretty great. So may as well keep it rather than getting a new washing line. In terms of our back here, the guys have taken down a fair few trees and palms. We're probably gonna grab all this area on this higher space so it can really be used as an outdoor setting. And we might dig out some of the uh, excess debris on top here so it's a little bit lower. Uh, we've got some old fire pit here. We might you know, use that or stage that as a fire pit. We've also got a well and a bunch of garden beds off to the side. We didn't know how deep the well was either, but we tested it and it's about six, only six inches deep. And we can actually see the back fence line now as well, which is kind of surprising. It makes the property feel a lot bigger. Finally, look, looking back at the house, 
Dad and I have already finished the roof and I think the roof looks fantastic. And we've done monument on the gutters as well. So it's come up really nicely. So we're back again. We're about to finish the exterior today. So the plan is dad's gonna get rid of some mulch so we can get access to the gutters out the front. I've just done monument on the garage, the back door, the lower area. There's guys whippersnipping and mowing in the background. Hopefully you can't hear that. This little fella's a little bit happier. And the plan is to finish off the exterior today. And we're very excited to finish. So we're gonna have a break this afternoon, see some family, hang out and probably take a break. Um, over the next few days, but we're really excited to be finishing the exterior. Let's do it. 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 There's nothing really more satisfying than a paint spraying time lapse. And in these clips, I'm using a paint spray guard to stop overspray getting on the gutters and on the roof. And you can really see that this first top coat is brightening the house and transforming it in a matter of minutes. You can imagine it would have taken days to paint the house by hand, so we're just rolling around the edges of the gutters and paint spraying the bulk of the house. Using the paint sprayer really makes light work of this paint job. I don't really enjoy painting by hand and I like being efficient, so having the right tools for the job makes all the difference. I've said it before and I'll say it again, if you can breathe, you can paint. A lot of people make excuses when it comes to renovating, but for a few thousand dollars, you can transform the exterior. And that's exactly what we've tried to do here. Turning the light grays, the dark grays, and the whites together, and putting in a bit of hard work, it looks like it's paying off for us. Now we're getting somewhere. These breeze blocks look fantastic. We even had someone off the street try and offer us money to buy the breeze blocks from us. But the breeze blocks are back in, baby. It's 2023, people want them in their homes and we're gonna try and transform these and bring them back to their former glory. So Sophie's been doing some pressure washing here, getting off all the dirt and muck, and we're gonna repaint those so you can see the breeze blocks transform really soon. And on the lower trims out the front and down the side of the house, I'm using Monument to tie in the roof line to these lower trims. That's it for today. So I've just painted all these breeze blocks behind me. You can see that way. And all these breeze blocks are white this way. And Dad's just done a little bit more gardening around here and then he's shifting out the last bit of the mulch. The plan here is I'm gonna roll the rest of this behind me with a second coat because the sprayer can't quite get in where the concrete blocks are quite porous. So I'm gonna roll on the second coat probably in another week or another day. Um, and then with just touch ups around the exterior. So we need to touch up around the gutters, touch up around the front balcony and the trims there. It's been a massive day. <laughs> we think we uh, have deserved a rest, so we're pretty tired. Um, but that's it for today. package has arrived let's open it and see what it is now this is something that we bought for the house to add a bit of character and add a bit of value so let's open the package the sign is going to go up on the front of the house so we think it really adds some value and adds some character we really like the look of it and uh, yeah we just had that spot right near the stairs on the way into the property so we can't wait to hang this up 
I feel like these little touches, adding a metal sign with the number 27 on it adds a little bit of character and value to the home. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to create that owner-occupier appeal and appeal to people who fall in love with the home and want to pay a little bit more money because they like the home and they like the area. So adding 27 as the sign at the front of the house and matching it with a black letter box, um, we think is going to look really good at the property. So make sure you tune in at seven o'clock on Sundays for the next episode. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.